Hello, and welcome once again to the Dental Marketing Mastery Series. This podcast is brought to you by dentalwebcontent.com and New Patients Incorporated. I'm Howie Horrocks, the founder of New Patients Incorporated. Along with me once again is my friend and partner and the president of New Patients Incorporated, Mark Dilatush. Well, hello, everybody. Once again, uh, here we are with our podcast, and we're glad to have you on board. And with me today is uh, my partner and friend, Mark Dilatush. How are you doing, Mark? Hey, Howie. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Tis the season. It's coming around the corner. It sure is. Merry honk and ho, ho. There you go. Right. Exactly. Have Ho, ho, ho means something different in Las Vegas, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but yeah. we don't need to get into that. Well, we, won't, we won't get into that. All right. <laughs> what's, the, what's the subject of our podcast today? Well, in keeping with that ho, ho, ho spirit, uh, the, the real kind, not the Vegas kind, uh, <laughs> I thought we'd uh, give stuff away. Give stuff. Give Free gifts. gifts. Gifts for all of dentistry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, maybe. Listening can get these gifts. And, right. Uh, we have a, a few thousand followers to our podcast. By the way, for all of you listening, you take the time to download this and listen each week or whenever, whenever you catch up. Geez, I, I wonder if there's any binge listeners. <laughs> <laughs> that just hit my head. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts if if this helps educate you and this helps you promote dentistry properly and if this gets one more new patient in your practice that you help save their smile their image their self-esteem their confidence maybe even save their life right um then it's all worth it right so in that spirit we want to give away everything that we can give away to all of you and we would encourage we would encourage all of you to share this with any other dentist that you might know during the holiday season who might, maybe it's a startup, a new acquisition, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're making a transition in, in or out of insurance, whatever. So anybody, any other dentist that you know who might value um, these gifts, just send this, send this podcast over to them. Um, so, Howie, what are we starting with? We have four to give away. The four that we're giving away are? Yes. Uh, well. We're going to look at, uh, uh, well, our our most recent book in the Unlimited New Patients series. It's it's been available for free download for a little while, but uh, maybe not everybody knows about it. Um, This book, uh, we put this together a a while back. It's kind of the, the summary of everything, most everything we've learned over the last, what, 26 years or maybe uh, 27 years now about how to promote your practice to attract high quality new patients into it uh, and screen out the the shoppers and the deadbeats. And uh, really it's an education on, uh, on the subject of dental marketing that is a real one coming from the real world uh, and, and we, we wanted to present that to the dental world. And, and now, you know, we used to sell the book for a whole bunch of money, but now we're giving it away. Yeah, well, after a while, um, after a while, people who, the early adapters buy them up. And then, um, you know, the folks who didn't get a chance to buy them up, sort of like watching a, a, a good movie from three or four years ago that you missed in the movie theater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, what do uh, what what does somebody in our audience have to do to get the book? Can you tell them? Oh, okay. Well, the, probably the easy. There's, you can go to newpatientsync.com or you can go to dentalwebcontent.com. Under dentalwebcontent.com, you're going to see resources, free downloads, and then you can just click on the book. Um, and then under under new NPI, it's under products if my memory serves. I'll I'll check that. Say something snappy, Howie. Yeah, (laughs) I I think that's what it is. But at any rate, you'll uh, you'll eventually get there if you uh, persist with it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's under education. Education. Yeah, well, that's where it should be, actually. That's where it should be. Right. So, 
you know, the book is is basically a 200 and I don't know seven or ten pages somewhere around there of updated information um, consumer research all the marketing mediums um, their values uh, how to use them how to how not to use them um, it's just filled with practical usable um, immediately deployable information no matter who handles your marketing it doesn't have to be new patients incorporated it could be anybody well yeah that that's one of the reasons we wrote the books that's we right service everybody in the, in the US yeah. and Canada and Australia and, and so forth um, you know there are plenty of good great dentists out there who, who just uh, don't have the uh, education to do their own marketing but they're involved in doing their own marketing and sure so might as well get a guide uh, to, to guide them and, and help them out. All right, so this, that's the gift number one. These are all free gifts, guys and gals. Okay, yeah. so there's nothing. You can send us a card if you'd like. But <laughs> these, are all, these are all free gifts. Um, the second one would be... This is uh, uh, the... Well, we've talked about this. In fact, well, I think we did a whole podcast on this. The, the Marketable Attribute Scorecard. <clears throat> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the secret sauce recipe. Well, yeah. Remember, uh, remember the McDonald's ads. Remember from there's two all beef special patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Man, am, <laughs> man, am I that exactly right? Right. right. <laughs> so one of one of those pieces was the secret sauce. Of course, everybody now knows it's actually Thousand Island salad dressing. Yeah. But, <laughs> But, but Don't it, tell me advertising doesn't work. That's right. That's right. But it was McDonald's claim to fame for, I don't know, probably three or four ad cycles, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, our secret sauce, you can go into, um, again, you can go into under education. Um, you can go on newpatientsinc.com. You can also go under dental web content under resources and free downloads it's the marketable attribute scorecard here's what that is this is um wow uh it's worth millions it's only just a small excel spreadsheet but it's worth millions and and here's where the value comes from it comes from 20 some years of our client results telling us what consumers want and don't want. It comes from our own investment in our own internal testing of what works and doesn't work. And it also comes from our own investment in independent consumer research where a completely outside firm asks I'm sure you've all done these surveys in the past through somebody, but these online surveys that you get, they ask you all these random questions about a certain product or a certain industry and what you think about this, that, and the other thing. So that, the independent consumer research tells us um, what dental consumers want and don't want in a dentist and, or a dental practice. So the marketable attributes scorecard are the – Price, technologies, conveniences, services, and public relations assets that you possess in order of importance by score. Okay? So anytime that you promote anything anywhere um, outside of maybe a website, you're going to have limited space. Well, even a website has limited space because you want to limit it. You don't want it to be an endless website. So... What you do with advertising promotions that have space limitations is you have to prioritize what you brag about, right? You can't brag about everything. You have limited space. So the marketable attribute scorecard basically tells you numerically what to promote and how to mix those promotions together in each category to gain the highest score. Right. Right. And and what you said was just right on the money, Mark. You, you know, it's it's governed by real estate. You don't have all the room in the world, but it's also governed by, you know, I mean, you can brag about something that 
your audience doesn't care about. <laughs> right. right. It happens and all the time. <laughs> it would be very valuable to know that they weren't listening. Right. <laughs> talking about X. Right. Right. So, uh, what will they listen to? Um, and, and that's, yeah, again, that's what is arranged in, in a quantitative uh, format uh, in this marketable attribute scorecard. Right. And that's uh, when, when, when our marketing, de- our av- advisory department, the, the group of people in our company that actually build the marketing plans, when they're done building the marketing plans, they send the marketable attributes from the dental practice over to the designers who have these scorecards. And our designers, that's how the designers know which of those marketable attributes to put within the space that they're designing. Does that make right. sense? Okay. Yep. So our designers can use it. Your designers can use it. You see what I'm saying? Right? So, and, you're, and then that holds true for web designers as well. Right? So, or, or even SEO people. Right? So, it's a very useful tool. Um, so, you can go ahead and just go on to dental web content, resources, free downloads. It's the marketable attributes scorecard. Great. What's, our, what's our next gift, Dan? Well, what's behind curtain number three? Yes. Um, uh, I know you remember this, Mark. Uh, uh, Some time ago, we went into the film studio. Uh, We're always in the film studio. Yes. And uh, it was very hot. Oh, yeah, I remember. (laughs) We spent hours and hours and hours. Yeah, here's how that went. Hey, Mark. (laughs) Hey, Mark, let's... Let's do our marketing summit, but only we'll film it. Oh, okay, Howie, that sounds like a great idea. Here, why don't you come in August? (laughs) Yeah, why not? Okay. What what could possibly go wrong? Okay, well, you know, uh, (laughs) January might have been better, but we we did what we did. Yeah, it came out good. Anyway, so the the, the whole point of this is to tell you that we basically took um, uh, Unlimited New Patients Volume 3, and uh, the, uh, the live uh, shows that we, we used to do, we call them marketing summits. And uh, we, we go all over the country and uh, get up on stage and, and, and give these uh, presentations. These and are coming back, by the way. Stay tuned. What? They're, they'll be coming back, by the way. Stay oh, tuned. yes. Yes, we're going to do them again because we love doing them. Yeah. And they were uh, two-day events and uh, two-plus days, actually. And uh, they were really fun, and, and we just got tons of great feedback about it. So we thought, you know, we can't travel to every, con- uh, every city in the country and blah, blah, blah. So why don't we commit it to video? Right. So that's what we did uh, that hot August uh, afternoon <laughs> yeah. uh, forever. <laughs> I know, I did. So, so basically... <laughs> Here's what this is. It, this, it, in the live events, there's, there, there's, there's no replacing the back and forth between us and the offices in a live event. You can't tape that, right? So but if you remove the, hey, Mark and Howie, what should I do in this specific situation? Hey, Mark and Howie, my office in this specific market, if you, if you peel away – all that human interaction from a two-day presentation, you're left with about seven one-hour segments of basically uh, instruction. I mean, there's a few examples in there, but that's seven hours of pure, unadulterated marketing instruction. Right. Right. Um. You can grab it in bite-sized chunks. There's actually seven. Uh, they're about one hour each, or 56 minutes, an hour, three, whatever. Uh, they're about an hour apiece. You can find them at newpatientsync.com under education. You can also find them at dentalwebcontent.com under resources and free downloads. Right. Now, now the sister to that... Um, most people, when they get into either new patients, either the, when they get into um, the book, when they get into Unlimited New Patients Volume 3, and they get into about Chapter 2 or 3, they start saying, well, how does this apply to me? 
how should I apply this, right? And they get into this second, I think it's uh, segment number two in the video series where we go through in detail what consumers are looking for and what they're not looking for. And that's pretty much when dentists say, okay, well, how does that apply specifically to me and my practice and my market is when they say, you know, I need a marketing plan, basically, right? right? So the fourth thing that we're giving away is if you go to newpatientsinc.com, and, and by the way, we give, this is the one thing we give away all year. So we're kind of, I don't know, we're giving away something we usually give away, but it's still free. So it's a free gift. But if you go to newpatientsinc.com at the very top, you're going to see a re, like a revolving iPad and it says complimentary marketing plan. If anyone listening to this iPad, uh, to this um, podcast uh, wants or needs a marketing plan, and an analysis and a conversation about what specifically you should be doing with your marketing dollar. Um, those are free as well. Everything, every part of the analysis, the actual documentation of it, the discussion of it, we don't charge, we've never, Howie, we've never charged money for talking to people. So, no. Um, no. so the marketing plan uh, is free. All you have to do is go to newpatientsync.com, click the little revolving iPad, answer 73,000 questions about your practice. Now, come on. Take the, <laughs> take the full body scan. And, and, and no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm being a little bit facetious there. Uh, there's 50 some questions though. So it's, it might take you 15, 20 minutes, right? Yeah. Um, so we're hoping over the holiday season, we know how busy it gets. It can get busy at your practice. I know this can be actually the busiest time of year, especially if you did your use it or lose it properly. Um, this can be the busiest time of year for some dental practices. So a lot of dental practices won't have time to do any of this stuff. But if you do find yourself with some time, um, by all means, take advantage of, of one or two or three or all four of these gifts. Um, our listeners... You know, you 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 li you listen to us all year, um, and even if it's something that you can't use, or maybe you're a customer of ours already, and you're listening to our podcast, um, you know, send this podcast just to a dentist that, you know, that you know who who might benefit from it. Yeah, that's a good idea. They 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 can uh, pass this along to uh, anybody they like. Okay, the marketing plan, uh, Mark, where can we get that? Newpatientsinc.com, and all you have to do, there's that complimentary oh, marketing okay. plan image at the top. All you have to do is click that and start to answer your questions. Yeah, I believe you said that. I'm sorry. I, I fell asleep. But. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're, uh, we've wrapped up uh, this podcast uh, for for now um, yeah you know, everybody so. have a great holiday yeah absolutely With your family eat, eat, eat a lot but not too much exercise if you can watch a lot of football watch football uh, my seahawks yep hug your kids and your grandkids <laughs> and um pet your dogs and all that wonderful warm stuff all right until next time goodbye we hope you've enjoyed our podcast today you can find more podcasts on our youtube channel on stitcher and iTunes. Also on our websites, dentalwebcontent.com and newpatientsinc.com.